Hello, it's Sally again, and I have a question that is very interesting. It's like, what are the Akashic Records is the question. And how do I access them and change them? <laughs> so I'm going to start with a little story. When I was a, a small girl, I used to spend a lot of time outside my body. And when I discovered this, I discovered that I could attach like myself on a departed soul and ride to the room of the records. Because that's what happens when you die. You go to the room of your records. Akashic records are simply an energetic recording of everything that has happened to your unit of life, i.e. your soul or your spirit or whatever you want, your essence, whatever you want to call it, that you learned, that you gathered, that you discovered in this lifetime. And it's recorded for your review. Um, it's sort of like, um, it's the codification of your rules. That's what they're just saying. And what they mean by codifying is it's written down in a rule book and it's etched there now. And, and the rules are the rules that when this happens, then this will happen. Or if this happens, then this is likely to happen. It's all the rules that you created in your life. All the moments of learning is what my guides are saying. The moments of discovery and the moments of learning. There will be some wonderful things in there and there'll be some as God is my witness, I shall never have this happen to me again moments, to borrow a little Scarlett O'Hara. So if you do not believe in multiple lifetimes, then this is your single life. If you do believe in multiple lifetimes, then there are the records of all your lifetimes. And what I discovered when I was a little girl before they caught me, and this is what I used to do it all the time, that you can just ride on the back of the recently departed soul and sort of go to the room of recordings. And they show you, um, it, it comes out kind of as books, which is interesting. It's in, it's, it's in units of energy. Um, I guess we make constructs because we're humans, but I have seen the books and seen the pages. And um, when I'm working with clients, they, they are books and pages as well. So what happens is you can review and learn because that's what we do. We review and learn from being a spirit or a spiritual unit having a physical life. We're down here to have a lot of fun. And yes, to have fun. We're not here to suffer. Although the first tenet of Buddhism is that life can be painful and get over it, essentially. Stoicism too, but we're not talking philosophy, we're talking Akashic records. So when we want to access our Akashic records, we always do it after we die. Just like the moment after death, you become enlightened, which is pretty fun. <laughs> but we can access the Akashic records in a living now. And here's how we do it. Wow, we're gonna have a meditation. All right, I'd like everybody to close your eyes and relax. And I'd like you to find the place in your body where you have a viewing screen. So close your eyes and create a screen that you can view out of. Okay, create that screen that you can view out of. And then you are sending, oh, they're saying they don't want your spirit to travel to the records without you. So they want you to send a ship, essentially send a, a piece, send the viewing of it. Makes sense. Because it's not good to get far out of your body. It's just, I'm just saying, it's just not a good idea. Um, so, yes, sit quietly into a place in your body where you can create a viewing screen. And in this viewing screen, you would like to ask, just like you would a magic mirror, show me my records. So you say, show me my records. If nothing appears, that's fine. You can ask for, show me the place where my records are kept. You can ask for, show me what I need to know in this moment. 
or if you're not a visual person, let me feel. This is very interesting. Let me feel a point and place that I can touch and change. It's either inside of my body or outside of my body, but let me feel energetically a point in time that if I touch it, I can change it. That's new. And that's effortless for people who don't see, but feel and have knowingness. This is very good. So as you sit quietly and your intention, remember you've set the intention to discover your records. And there's usually one moment in time that's bothering you. And so you can say, please show me that, that page. You don't need to read it, remember? You don't need to know when, I mean, to know what. You only need to know when. So if you want to change it, you just can open the page and touch it with your finger, just like you do an iPhone, and make it erase, or mm -hmm. swipe it to the left or right and make it go away, whatever you want to do. Highlight it, delete it, just whatever you want to do. If you can't see well, if you don't visualize well, but you have a knowingness, close your eyes and send your electric fingers to the moment to delete it. Just boom and delete it. It's as simple as that. That's how you delete it. Now, the next thing you want to ask about this thing that you wanted to change or delete in your records, because that's kind of what the question was about too. How do I change and delete things in my records? The next thing you want to ask is how many copies, how many backup copies are there of this rule? And you'll intuitively know. You'll feel a number. You'll feel a heaviness. Or you can ask, has it been changed? Is it disappeared now? Do I know in my higher self, has it been disappeared? And if you're getting a no answer, then please ask for help. If you're getting a yes answer, that's cool. And if you're getting a lot of copies, then you say, I hereby connect with all copies now. Invert them and delete them and turn them into zero point energy. Just gone. Because the backup copies, <laughs> they'll come back and reinvent themselves in your rules. That's what they do. So you want to ask for how many copies. Talk about universes, yes. Okay, um, and since we're doing this at the quantum level, we must adhere to all quantum laws. And there is a multiple universe law where there are many possibilities in many universes, right? So you wanna ask how many copies are in other universes as well. And you may get zero, you may get one, you may get uh, 100, you never know. And then you ask for that law, that rule, that process to be recreated in those universes as well. They said, that's it. That's, that's what, we, what you do to change it. It's, it is much more simple than you think. Is there anything else that I need to tell them? Yes. This is not a moment to be critical. This is a moment to be generous. This is not a moment of fearfulness. This is a moment of rejoicing. This is not a moment of hiding and anger and spite and saying, I'm going to erase that boyfriend forever. No, this is not what this moment is about. This moment is, I choose to release an inhibiting factor. And I am so grateful and thankful for its release. That's what this is a moment of. I hope this helps. Because they said, if you push on it, it will push back. If you move with it, it, it th these moments in your time, in timeline, are going to reflect back the energy that you give it. So if you'd like the energy to move, you want to welcome its movement. You want to rejoice in it being there. They're giving me an example. If you want a puppy to change what it's doing, you don't come run at the puppy if you want the puppy to come to you or you want the puppy to go somewhere or do something, what you do is say, puppy, 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 look at this really fun thing right over there. And the puppy will go do it. But if you come pushing and screaming and yelling at the puppy, you get a bad result. 
It's the same way with your energy. Just remember, resistance causes resistance and openness causes openness. You are a permanent reflection of what you are giving. Thank you so much. And remember, if this helps you, please like and share these videos. And if you want pers my personal help, you can go to sallyreed.com and get all the answers you need and a way to contact me. Thanks so much. And keep the questions coming. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.